Hello, welcome to a quick update here at Marvel Gallery. As you can see, I'm in a different part of my house today, and that's going to showcase the first new bit of news here, and that's simply, I got a better camera. So, as you've seen with the quality of my videos for the first six months of this channel, I had a really shitty webcam that I was using. I wasn't happy with the webcam. I've never been happy with the webcam, and I wanted to get something that's better, that's going to show more quality because you know if you guys are sitting out there and you're watching my videos and you're looking at you know camera quality that's 720p when everyone else is putting out quality that's 1080p it's going to turn you off to my videos i needed to upgrade and it was time so got a new camera got a new tripod it's not tied to my computer through a webcam anymore so i can move around and do different things which is really really nice and going forward that's how videos are going to be so you're going to see an influx in the next couple weeks here of videos that are going to have different video quality and that's simply just because i recorded videos with the other camera and those are kind of going to trickle out so you're going to see an influx of different videos but going forward all videos are going to be recorded with this new camera Couple other updates here for uh, this channel. Number one is I'm going to be starting a new series that will debut sometimes in September and it's called Steam Logged. So I was brainstorming and coming up with different ideas of other things that I want to do on this channel. You know, it dawned on me one day like I have over 440 games in my Steam library and I'm not a huge PC gamer. I'm more of a console gamer. These are games that I've occurred over the last 10 years. I've, I've had Steam since Half-Life 2 because, you know, when you bought a copy of Half-Life 2 years ago, you had to use Steam to, to play that game. So I, like most of y'all out there, have had a Steam account for 10 years. But I've bought games on Steam. These are all games that I've pretty much paid but anywhere between five and fifteen dollars for because my big advocacy for steam is don't buy games at full price on steam that's not worth it and that's how i've always been when it comes to steam i have occurred all these games over the last 10 years and i just don't play them because i'm more of a console gamer but i wanted to start this new video series with the idea that i can sit down and play these games so that's what it's going to be it's going to be me installing a game and playing it for the first time and you're going to get kind of my live recorded actions of the first 15 and 20 minutes through a game and i'll decide like is this a game i want to pursue farther or is this a game that i'm just going to delete and hey we tried it once i don't care for it so Steam Log is the name of that show. It will be premiering sometime this month. I'm still working on how that show is exactly going to work because it's a little bit different than a lot of the other videos that I've recorded. Secondly, as we're getting to fall here now, usually, usually the day after Labor Day weekend is what I consider the beginning of fall. So, you know, fall updates here, obviously there's going to be big games that are coming out this fall that I'm going to be reviewing here on this channel. Uh, some of the big heavy hitters here include Super Mario Odyssey, Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, Evil Within 2. Most likely I will review Call of Duty World War 2. I don't know if I'll review it launch day. I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I may mess around with WWE 2K18. We'll see. And obviously coming up soon here, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which just came out. So I've been in the process of playing that for a review right now. Those are just some of the heavy hitting reviews. I'm also announcing the month of October here at Marvel Gallery is Horror Fest. I'm a big fan of Halloween. I'm a big fan of horror. That's my favorite genre of any medium. Movies, games, comics, you name it. Big fan of horror. So for the month of October, everything's going to be themed around that genre. I'm going to be doing at least two episodes of The Greatest Generation that are going to focus on Xbox 360 horror games. I'm going to be reviewing The Evil Within 2 in October. That's a big horror game that's coming out. Most of my film reviews in October are going to revolve around horror. I'm also going to be talking about my f top five favorite horror movies of all time. Uh, at some point here, I'm also going to be releasing a top 20 favorite films of all time list just to give you guys a better gauge of what my favorite films of all time are and how they stack up in comparison to maybe your opinions and stuff. But you guys get a better idea. 
Film Club is trekking along nicely too. I have two reviews that are going to be recorded today that will be up this week. One is going to be from the 2017 indie horror movie It Comes at Night. And the other one I sat down and watched finally uh, The Purge Election Year. So I'm going to be reviewing both of those this week and they will be up sometime this week as well. I also plan on doing a big review of the new Stephen King remake uh, It movie that comes out, I believe, a, I, shit, I think it comes out this Friday, this coming Friday already, wow. <laughs> that creeped up really fast. So, those are some big things that are coming to Marvel Gallery. Uh, I also, at some point, will be doing a YouTube live stream of some Lost Odyssey for Xbox 360. I haven't quite decided when this is going to be yet, but I kind of promised it as uh, if my SNES video gets 1,000 hits, it's going to get 1,000 hits, <laughs> like... I think I, I think as of this recording, it sits at 100 or 850 views within a week. Like for my channel that just started, that's really good. So I'm really happy about this. Also, my channel has doubled in subscribers in the matter of two weeks, thanks to that Super Nintendo video. So I'm very happy with that. I did also start a new series called Let's Rant About, where I can just kind of rant about anything. And those rant videos have been some of my most successful videos. So I will also be doing a video review of the Super Nintendo Classic Edition as I do have one reserved. And I'm looking forward to getting that machine and sitting down and playing it. I also plan on doing an in-depth review of the Xbox One X when it releases in November. That's a huge thing for me as well. So those are just some updates with the channel. Uh, again, I want to thank you guys for your support. You know, I've been working really hard on videos in the past couple of weeks here. I know I went off on kind of a tangent about GameStop uh, because I, you know, recently left that job for a different job. And, you know, four years, you know, I, I personally have worked 12 years in retail and four of my 12, four and a half of my 12 years in retail was spent at GameStop. And when I started this channel, I was still with GameStop. I couldn't talk about anything that's going on there and I definitely obviously as you've seen in those videos have my opinions on GameStop and everything but it's the kind of thing where you have to be really careful when you work at a job like that about the social media policies and you have to be really careful about what you're saying and what you're doing you know I can give you a quick story example of that uh, there was one kid that worked at a different store and this employee must have had it out for me or something and myself and my other buddy were working one night and I took a picture of him just hanging out playing Guitar Hero on the kiosk. This is a couple years ago when that Guitar Hero remake came out. And I took a picture and shared it on Facebook of just like, hey, hanging out playing Guitar Hero. You know, just a funny, stupid picture. And like you could see behind him, the store gates were clearly closed. So the store wasn't open at the time that I took this photo. This guy, and I don't know if his issue was he wants to move up higher in the company. He's a big tattletale, like, piece of shit person. Uh, he went to my district manager with that picture and basically tried to anonymously send that as we were breaking the social media policy. So my district manager came in the store and asked to look at my Facebook and my friend's Facebook. And he saw those pictures and was just like, who cares? So, but it just goes to show you... GameStop is very serious when it comes to their social media policy, hence why I could never talk about GameStop while I worked there on this channel. And now I'm more than welcome to, and honestly, I've bashed them pretty hard in a couple videos. And I do want to do more stuff with GameStop in the future on this channel, but, you know, three videos within a week about GameStop, and one of them wasn't even planned. That was just that company making their own stupid decision. But three videos in one week about GameStop, that's a lot, man. And I, I don't want this channel to become a GameStop hating channel. I think there are YouTube channels that do a better job of analyzing GameStop's stupid decisions as a company than I would ever do. So we're not going to go any farther with GameStop stuff right now unless they do something so incredibly stupid like the Elite you know, program that I have to you know, break my silence on it. So... Anyways, guys, this was a quick update video just letting you know what's going on the month of September through the rest of the year. Again, thanks for being a subscriber. 
thanks for you know watching my videos and enjoying them and liking them and sharing them and continue to do all that as well. As always, until next time.